This short film is going to be about Rona and um, the difference in the same way that I make comparisons between um, the Dutch school and the early Italian Renaissance school, um, this one's going to be the, not making it, but just looking at how different Matisse and Rona approach the same subject of looking through the window and the window. And it's quite, it's rather nice because they both lived in Nice and so, in a way, it's easier to make a comparison. I've got a book here, uh, an, a wonderful painting by Bonnar. And the room is filled with the light from the window. But it's a very different sort of light than the Dutch school. It's not, a, it's n not about illuminating the darkness. Because, of course, when you live in Nice, you've got far more light. And far more warmth. The room is filled with these intensely hot, pulsating colours. Um, the oranges, the pinks, the, the violet, the, the green, all strong contrasts of colour. What's really interesting, having done a copy of a Bonner, is that you realise they, the interior has become quite claustrophobic and that the window provides the air that you need. Because outside is this wonderful cool blues and violets and greens and it's providing the much needed fresh air to come into the window. The domestic has become quite stultifying, I think. It is a psychological interpretation and, and there's no, you know, no foundation for this, but it just is how I read the painting. So I'm going to look at another painting now by Bonnar. Um, in this painting, the dining room overlooking the garden. It's definitely not as hot. It's not about the heat and the cool air outside as with the other painting. With this painting, the window and the interior almost become part of a fabric. It's wo woven together. It's actually quite hard to distinguish the outside from the inside because of the busyness. I did a copy of this and this little building here, the light on the roof, is hugely significant. And if I cover it up there, you can see that, in a way, you end up trapped inside. This little bit of white links to the shape and the colour of the tablecloth, and it leads you outside. And there's always that feeling with Bonner that he, he's quite happy to go outside, I, I feel, psychologically, again, that, that you can, uh, there's a way out from the, the, the busyness and the sort of uh, domestic life, which he loves, but he almost needs to get away from, from time to time. And that's his little escape route, is this, this white taking you out. But as always with Bonnard, the business of the everyday, people coming and going, um, people eating, the food, people writing a letter, um, all the, the things that make up everyday life are, are ever, ever present. It's something he has very much in common with the Dutch school, is that um, you know, in, the, in the Dutch paintings you see women sweeping or, or, or peeling an apple. Well, this is a, 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 what I love about Bonner is he carries on that tradition and he makes it his own, but in the south of France. So I'm going to look at a, um, this painting, and it's called The Window. And um, it's interesting because you can see again how he links the outside to the inside. Uh, here with a white again and if I cover it up you can see how it helps you come back into the interior without that you tend to stay outside you're drawn to these white houses he encourages it he positively encourages you to go outside and come back inside there's this sort of very strong lines a, a barrier to the outside but psychologically he's always going outside and the other thing about Bonnard is um, you have a real sense of the people who live in the house, the activities that go on, and that's very different to Matisse. It's very different. This is about the everyday. Look, somebody's just in the middle of writing a letter. So th there's a, f a feeling of what's, 
been going on in terms of time. You might notice there's a green shutter here, which is open. And of course, in the south of France, they have these um, particular green shutters. We're going to look at Matisse next. And you'll see how very differently he uses the green shutters and how he uses it in a way like the Dutch as a way of letting a small amount of light in. It's for a very different reason. It's to keep out the heat more than to keep out the light. <laughs> <laughs> 